Joining defending champion Brandon Stone in the field will be multiple winner Slocum, as well as former SA Open champion Mortem Oram Madsen from Denmark. Together with exciting local young guns Dean Burmester, Christian Besadonat and Dylan Fratelli. The event is growing. We've announced a, an increase in the prize fund to 1.5 million rand, which in this depressed economy is significant. But even more exciting is we have four-time winner on the PGA Tour, Heath Slocum, coming to compete at Royal Cape. So that's really exciting. Jake Roos won the inaugural event in 2012, Chart van der Walt in 2013, Jaco Alles in 2014, while young Brandon Stone is the current champion. We, again, for five years have been involved in it from inception, so we're very proud to be part of it. It's, uh, it's obviously a, a landmark event for Cape Town. Um, we, we're very proud to it. We thank the PGA for you know, involving us in, in the tournament again. The Cape Town Open has major economic benefits, with the event televised across Europe, showcasing the mother city as a tourist destination. You know, Royal Cape Golf Club is the oldest golf club in South Africa. It's the grand old lady, and if you talk to any professional um, as to why they come down to the line of Africa Cape Town Open, it's to compete on a great golf course. It's one of the old... Uh, traditional styles of, of courses and um, you know if the wind blows uh, down in Cape Town it provides a real test. Cape Town is currently starved of top class golf competition that will all change towards the end of November. Craig Murray, SABC News, Cape Town.